an Schlitter an Kaman August Nicolini. We're here at the Gaelic Grounds in County Limerick for the 2007 All Ireland Senior Club Camogie Championship final. This year's competition is contested by two of the most skillful teams in the country, Cashel of Tipperary and Galway's Athen Rye. We're delighted with the venue and I suppose we're delighted to combine it with the hurling championship game between Lockmore and Adair. Two great teams and it's great to see two new teams in the final because St Lactis of Kilkenny have been champions for three years. So no matter who wins this evening we have a new name in the cup. Great time for Camogie, great year for Camogie with a great All-Ireland finals in all grades, all-stars and now I hope a great club final as well. Of course it was a fantastic All-Ireland final this year between Wexford and Cork but it just goes to show how big Camogie is actually starting to become in this country. Well I think women's sports have really progressed and I think Camogie has gone up 10 levels in the last 10 years. Of course you've had a very difficult road to get here and I think coming through those tough games does tend to blood you for a game like this. Absolutely. Like the Tipperary Championship was very close with Tumi Vara and, and, and uh, Drummond Inch and Duhara. It's very hard games and like, we weren't playing particularly well up to the, the championship with Tipperary and the Tipperary Championship. But I thought the turning point of our season was uh, two weeks ago with Donovan Ross. We were absolutely excellent in the first half. Uh, we started off on fire and I mean it set up our stall for the day and like it's not an easy place to go to and get a victory but we played very very well up there. What kind of a game do you expect this to be today? Here in Gaelic grounds you have a great open pitch and I think it will suit both players, both very skillful teams. Like you're looking at Cashel, you have people like Uno Dwar, Philippe Fogarty, Paula Bulf and Claire Grogan. Uh, great players but a very balanced team. Then on the other side you have people like Trace Mar, Regina Glynn, young Jessica Gill who was the Connacht Young Player of the Year. All very skillful teams. I think it may well boil down to who between Claire Grogan and Jessica Gill. Both played very well in their respective semi-finals. Jessica scored 2-6 and Claire scored oh, a huge amount as well against O'Donovan Rossa. So I think it will come, it will boil down to which is the more accurate on the day. The Bill Carroll Cup has not rested in the Premier County since St Patrick's Drumgool made it back-to-back -back victories in 1965 and 1966. For the senior Cashel girls, a win at the Gaelic grounds would see their club crowned All-Ireland champions for the first time in their history. But standing in their way were Galway champions Athen Rye, who beat last year's champion St Lachtons of Kilkenny to book their place in the final. And with great support for both sides on the day, a great game of Camogie looked on the cards as two highly skilled teams clashed the ash for the right to be crowned the best in the land. Seen here in the blue and orange, it was Cashel who opened the scoring in a fiercely contested first half. But scores from Jessica Gill, who was recently named the Connacht Young Camogie Player of the Year, helped to keep Athenry hot on the heels of the Tipperary girls. There were some fantastic individual performances on the day, and this brilliant solo run from midfielder Philly Fogarty set her up to score what was undoubtedly one of the scores of the afternoon as the Premier girls began to edge ahead. But the Galway girls were up for this battle, midfielder Laura Lenan showing great strength as she sidestepped Cashel captain Sinead Millay and then forced fullback Una O'Dwyer to concede a free within scoring range. And the talented Jessica Gill certainly wasn't going to miss from there. And if Athenry were strong in the attack, they were also solid in defence as goalkeeper Stephine Gannon made a fantastic reflex save to deny Cora Hennessy a goal before Millay eventually cleared the danger. Cashel continued to heap the pressure on the Galway girls' defence and when Gannon failed to clear her lines, full forward Emily Hayden combined well with Philly Fogarty who tacked on another score. Half-time approached, it was the Tipperary girls who had the advantage in the scoreline and despite some constructive attacking play, they couldn't register any additional scores prior to the interval. 
some Trojan defending by the Athenry outfit saw them eventually get out of their own half. Captain Therese Marr cleverly hand-passing out to Laura Lenan, who carried on to score a brilliant point from play, despite the best efforts of half-back Julie McGrath and Emily Hayden. And so it was Cashel who led by a scoreline of seven points to five at half-time. The second half began at a fierce tempo, with every girl putting her body on the line. Laura Lenan converting this free after Therese Marr had been impeded. But with eight county players in their team, Cashel start to edge in front as their greater physical strength starts to show, with Claire and Linda Grogan tacking on points to open up a 10-point lead. And as Athenry really started to tire, Cashel were cleaning up in midfield thanks to the selfless running of Cora Hennessy and Philly Fogarty, both players involved in the build-up to the only goal of the game, which came in the 23rd minute of the second half, thanks to a great strike by Emily Hayden. Galway champions stayed with the battle though but they just couldn't match the pace and strength of the Tipperary girls who relentlessly added score after score. And despite this unbelievable point from Athenry fullback Catherine Glynn, the scoreboard showed that the margin was now just too big to close. But these girls were certainly going to give it a go. Despite their best efforts though, there was no doubt about the outcome of the game and Cashel were crowned the All-Ireland Senior Camogie Champions for 2007, the first time in their history. Great celebrations then for the Premier Girls, but Athen Rye will certainly be a team we'll see a lot more of in 2008. The first half was very close, actually the first, the first 15 minutes I thought we were a little bit under pressure small bit. Athenry were, were very solid around the middle and uh, clear with clear inside corner forward and things weren't happening for her, things, the ball wasn't going into her that quickly. So we decided we'd shift herself and Philly, we put Philly inside uh, corner forward and the space seemed to open up for Philly inside. So um, It was a, a tight, tough game in the first 20 minutes but like, I think our fitness level stood was in the finish. We, we, we got better as time went on, you know. So. It was a really tight game and I think we worked really hard right from number 15 up to the goalkeeper, you know, we, we worked our socks off um, in the forward line particularly, I suppose we made an awful lot of blocks and hooks and that's what we in games and the chances came for us in the second half and luckily we were able to take them. I believe without a shadow of a doubt that there's an All-Ireland title in these girls and they can turn away from it now so every experience helps but I know they'll go home very disappointed today but you know, if, if you were beaten when you should have been, shouldn't have been beaten it would be much harder, at least we feel and I think they have to feel as well, we were better teamed, but we were beaten by a better team today and I congratulate Cashel on their success I know they've been in there for three or four years as well trying to win this one so it's a big day for them too and they hurled really well and they're fine players and I, I congratulate them and acknowledge that. We have a great team great young team and great management yeah I'm sure we'll have a good night tonight but I suppose if we had the cup it would be a whole lot better but that's life. We're thrilled I suppose we've been there thereabouts for the last number of years and we've never actually won in All-Ireland so this is a super day for the club.